Hello everyone. Alright, so before we begin today's lesson on medians, there are two very important concepts we need to refamiliarize ourselves with in order to have an easier time. The two concepts are being the area of a triangle and even more specifically the ratios of areas, specifically the ratios of altitudes and heights and bases and how they all relate to each other. If we understand how these concepts work, specifically how to create ratios of areas and ratios of alt uh, altitudes to the bases, it's going to make today's lesson a lot easier because that's one of the most important parts of today's lesson. So I figured we should go back and do an old problem on this topic. If you want to look up a little bit more about it, the lesson in our classroom is called, uh, I believe it's called the altitudes and heights of triangles or altitudes and height ratios, something like that. It was one of the first lessons right after area. Anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So. Given that BC is 40, so this length here, BC is 40, and CD is 20, okay? What are the ratios of the area of ABC over the area of ACD and the area of ABC over the area of ABD? Well, notice it doesn't give us much to go off of, but let's start with the first ratio. The area of ABC, ABC over the area of ACD. Now, Hopefully at this point we understand that the formula for the area of a triangle, well there are many we covered, but the most basic one being one half base times height. So let's determine what our heights and our bases are. Well the base of the triangle ABC is that bottom part BC. So I'm going to multiply that one half by whatever BC is. And now I need to know what the height of ABC is. Well, the height is the measure from the top of the triangle straight down to the bottom ground. Or where typically where the base is, but in, in this case it's not going to hit the base, but a little bit outside of it. So, to determine that length, if we're using this nice GeoGebra tool, um, we can create perpendicular lines fairly easily. So, what we have to do is click this perpendicular line tool, select a point A, and then the line perpendicular that we want the line to be perpendicular to, which is our base CB. Wow. Now, that means that this line here is the line perpendicular to the base CB. Notice it doesn't hit BC, but it does hit that same distance across at DC. That's fine because again, the height is from the top point A to where the bottom of that triangle BC would be if we extended it. Now, I'm just gonna label our point here, E, and I don't like the entire line, I'm just going to make it a segment. So I'm going to use my segment tool and then I can delete all this extra line here. Whoops, I guess I can't. <laughs> uh, there is a way to do this, just bear with me one second. Segment from E to A. Okay, and this line okay I don't know why it's doing that mm. let's say that this is fixed maybe that'll do it all right I'll try it one more time hopefully it works if not 
then ah whatever okay well we get the basic gist there is this segment going straight down perpendicular at that point e. there much easier all right and that point would be our height making a 90 degree angle so the height of triangle ABC is AE wonderful now let's look at triangle ACD ACD that base the bottom part would be the entire length DC so I'm gonna multiply that one half by DC now what would the height be well again the height is from the top to the bottom and the top is the same point A and it's gonna hit the bottom exactly on the base at E so it's actually going to have the same height A E now we can immediately start canceling some stuff out A E over A E cancels out and one half over one half cancels out so this ratio actually just becomes what the length of BC is over the length of DC. And now I can just plug in some numbers. I know that BC has a length of 40 and DC has a length of 20. Well, whenever your numbers end in zeros, you can just cross them out in the fraction. And then we have four over two, which is just two. So as we can see, even though we don't know what the areas are numerically, and we don't even know what the height is numerically, we can still find out the ratio of the bases or the ratio of the areas themselves fairly easily. We know that the ratio of the area of ABC to ACD is two. That means ABC has twice the area of ACD. So with that done, let's move on to the next ratio. We have ABC, the area of ABC over the area of ABD. Setup is very similar, so well, I already know well what the area of this ABC is going to amount to. It's going to amount to one half times BC times AE. Now I just need to express the area of ABD. That's one half times, well, what is the base of ABD? Well, that's the entire bottom part, db. So that's db times, well, what is the height? Well, the height of a, b, d is the top part, a, to the bottom, e. Notice we have the same height again, a, e. And these ratios are very useful, especially when you have this common base and common heights. So we do our crossing out our simplifications just like we did before. The one halves cancel out and the AE over AE cancels out. And we're left with BC over DB. Well, BC we know is 40. And DB is the entire length, so it's 20 plus 40, which is 60. Now that reduces to four over six, which reduces further to two over three. And that gets us our answer for part two. So this is a very important tool that we'll be using these ratios of areas, especially in a more theoretical context when we get into the main part of the lesson in the next video.